Hey, what's up, Backpacker Magazine? Um, <clears throat> my name is uh, Jeremy Arnold. My hometown is Clarksville, Tennessee. Oh, it's getting hot out here. My height is uh, five foot eight, and I weigh about 160 pounds. Um, yeah, I do. <laughs> no, um. Just want to take this time to tell you how much I appreciate your magazine. It's very informational. I've learned a lot from it in the past four years that I've been backpacking. I think it's a good thing what you guys do. I love the way you guys do your gear reviews. I, I like your uh, personality. It's great. I'm going to take this time to tell you a little bit about myself before... I explain why I would be the perfect backpacker gear tester. I'm 27 years old, or I've been backpacking about four or five years. Ever since I was uh, 14, I've been an aggressive rollerblader. Um, I guess it would come into the genre of extreme sports. Pretty popular with in the sport. I've been in magazines, international magazines. in uh, numerous videos. I've gone on tours um, across the country, seen a lot of beautiful country because of it, and I think this is kind of how I got into backpacking, was traveling and seeing all this beautiful country and, you know, wanting to be in it. Still rollerblading, you know, couldn't, couldn't do too much backpacking because of rollerblading, you know, traveling and doing photo shoots and going to different cities, getting clips for videos and stuff like that, but, you know, I still did it a little bit, you know, started, I just started buying cheap gear, Walmart stuff, not very good, the straps on back, on their backpacks break, their poles get stuck, they never retract, heavy, it's no good, but anyways, over the years I've been doing research, reading backpacker, learning a lot, buying better gear, lighter stuff, way more durable, more waterproof. Been into backpacking, like serious backpacking, for about four or five years now because uh, rollerblade, I'm getting old, rollerblading's kind of taking its toll on me. Injuries, it's just starting to hurt. I don't do it too much anymore, but not as much as I backpack. That's, that's how I got started backpacking. Why I think I'm the perfect candidate for a backpacker gear tester. First of all, this year, Coming up uh, April 3rd, 2009, I am setting off for my through hike on the Appalachian Trail. What perfect time to test gear. Whatever you throw at me, testing it. Um, pretty critical when it comes to testing gear. Uh, I've seen the worst in gear and I've seen the best in gear. I love testing my new gear in the worst conditions. Uh, rain gear. Trekking poles. The, uh... Close. Oh. Water purification. Where does this? Where does this? Oh. Stoves. Uh. Prime. Oh crap! Lightweight solo backpacking tents. Let's see, uh... Yes. And most importantly, good boots. These new boots I got are amazing. Uh oh. Oh, maybe not. Oh, God. Oh, God. As you can see, I didn't have a, an exactly perfect day today, but um, they're not always like that. No, all jokes aside, um, I think I would be perfect for a uh, backpacker gear testing position um, and contest, so please consider me. Uh, thank you very much.